Why should you use topology optimization for aircraft parts? For example, for a flight control bracket. The rising adoption and industrialization of additive manufacturing technologies is enabled the creation of very complex geometries, such as topology optimized geometries. Topology optimization is actually a very effective tool when it comes to uh, generating highly performing designs with the least amount of weight. And actually this performance gain is increasingly outweighing production costs in aeronautics and aerospace engineering applications, where the added value of saving weight is very high. Topology optimized critical aircraft parts are undergoing qualification efforts nowadays by the main aircraft manufacturers who are trying to attempt not just like not so important parts, but actually parts that are functional and important to the aircraft safety. So this is why I'm showing you one example of a flight control bracket, which is a critical component for the safety of the aircraft. In this case, this is an elevator. So this will regulate the pitch up and pitch down of the airplane. So we can take those two load cases into consideration when launching a topology optimization, as well as design constraints or manufacturing constraints, such as the overhang constraint to minimize support material during the print process. So when we launch a topology optimization, we don't only get one result, we get many results depending on selecting how many how much material we actually want to keep from it but what is important here is we have access to all of the information about what elements have increasing importance to for the load transfer and then depending on other parameters such as manufacturing constraints or boundary penalty which means how much material we want to remove or keep near the design space boundary we can generate different design alternatives and the user can select which one is the most convenient. Also, now we have technology that allows you to automatically smoothen your topology optimization result and integrate the part back into a CAD assembly. So you can export your, your final design that is ready for manufacturing, but also ready for an integration into a assembly, for example, in CATIA. You can also benefit from this smoothen uh, part because you can automatically remesh it and you can reanalyze the optimized part for design validation. In the case of end topology, we offer you the possibility of running a static analysis in end top, but also you have the flexibility to export a finite element model to other tools like Abacus or ANSYS or Nasran and conduct further advanced analysis, for example, dynamic analysis or nonlinear analysis, contact simulation. So just wanted to quickly show you some uh, current possibilities that you have with topology optimization. If you uh, use end topology, you'll know that you can benefit from uh, all of these features that I described today, such as the automatic smoothening, getting a manufacturing ready part and exporting back to CAD. You have access to the files that I showed today. You can download them and try this on your own. And please visit our website if you want to discover more applications, request a demo, or request a quote. Thank you.